So let us talk about nouns today. Nouns. Uh, there are various types of nouns. First is common nouns. So nouns are divided into common nouns, proper nouns. Common nouns and proper nouns. What are common nouns? Common nouns are words for people, animal, places, or things. And these are words for people. They are common nouns like this: artist, clown, acrobat, astronaut. So these are all uh, you know. Act, you can add more words like actor, aunt, baby, baker, book, dentist, doctor, giant, lawyer, judge, man, nurse, police officer, singer, soldier, and teacher. All these are common nouns. And another word for astronaut is spaceman or space woman, as you know it. These are some uh, aspect which we'll be touching, which is some uh, somewhat different from uh, grammar, but still these are interesting to know. So these are uh, words for animal. They are also common nouns like eagle, zebra, deer, bird, crocodile, and bear. And to more add to this list, cat, cow, dog, dolphin, duck, fish, goat, goose, hen, horse, mouse, parrot, shark, whale. All these are common nouns. These are also the word for places. These are also common nouns. Like beach, park, shop, library, airport, cave, church, farm, hill, hospital, hotel, house, island, mall, market, mountain, playground, restaurant, school, seashore, stadium, supermarket, temple, and zoo. All these are the words for places. And these are words for things also. These are also common nouns like basket, drum, bed, blanket, and cake, and gate, bag, box, bread, can. Not that can, but a can, uh, you know, Pepsi can kind of thing. Then chair, cot, cup, desk, door, egg, kite, ladder, lamp, picture, radio, television, train, track, watch, and window. So let us uh, have an exercise first. Underline the common nouns in these sentences. So there's a little bird in the garden. Little bird in the garden. Garden. Bird. Who is your teacher? Teacher. Don't eat that rotten apple. Apple. Kate has a lovely doll. Kate doll. I like reading stories. Stories. My father is a doctor. Father and doctor. Every child has a dictionary. Child dictionary. Rudy hates bananas. Rudy bananas. The phone is ringing. Phone. Here's a book for you. Book. All these are common nouns. Now we have exercise number two. Here is a mixed bag of words. You need to put each word under the correct heading. So, swimmer. These are people, animal, place, and things. People, animal, place, and things. Swimmer. People. Letters. It goes to things. Mountain. It's a place. Granny. People. Snail. Animal. Flag. Thing. Facts. Thing. Taxi. Thing, fire engine, thing, river, again, place, hotel, place, gardener, people, clown, people, barber, people, parrot, animals, and camel, again, animal. Now coming to proper nouns, these proper nouns are names for particular places, not just people, places, or things, but particular people, places, or things, and they should always be they must have the first letter, first alphabet as capital. Like Omar, Beethoven, Lisa, Santa Claus, Alibaba, Florence Nightingale, Derek Jeter, Polly, Johnny Depp, Patrick, Harry Potter, Pinocchio, Robin Hood, Kim Lee. You know, your name, own name, yours name and the name of your friends, they are also proper nouns. The name of the countries and the people are also proper nouns like American, Egyptian, Indian, Italian, Thai, Japanese, Korean, Malay from Malaysia, Filipino, Pakistani. These are all countries. This comes under country, America, Egypt, India, Italy, Japan. People like Americans, Egyptians, Indians, Italians, the Japanese. I am from India. Therefore, I am, I am from this country, Indian country. I am from India. So, I am an Indian. Korea, Malaysia, Pakistan, France, Thailand. So, Korea, Koreans, Malaysia, Malaysians, Pakistan, Pakistani, France, the French, the French, Japan, the Japanese, and Thailand, Thais. And the name of towns, cities, buildings, landmarks, they are also proper nouns. Like Hong Kong, Egypt, the Great Wall of China, Statue of Liberty, the Statue of Liberty, Tokyo, Sydney, like Bangkok, 
London, New York, Paris, Beijing, see New York, capital letters, New Delhi, capital letters, Denver, Central Park, the Eiffel Tower, Big Ben, the Grand Canyon, Leaning Park Tower of Pisa, Brooklyn Bridge and Pikes Peak. The days of the week and months of the year are also proper nouns like all days from Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday till Saturday. March, March to Monday, March to Tuesday, March, January to, till December. So January till December, Sunday till Saturday, all these are proper nouns. Just to know, January is the first month of the year, Sunday is the first day of the week. A table, this shows the months and weeks of the day. Then the name of mountains, sea, rivers, lakes, they are also proper nouns. Proper nouns means the proper places, just like, just not like mountains. Mountain Ever Mount Everest is a mountain, but Mount Everest is a proper noun. And mountain, it is a noun. The Thames, Lake Michigan, the Alps, the Red Sea, Mount Fiji, the Himalaya, the Pacific Ocean, the Yellow River, all these are proper nouns. And just to know, you often use this the before the name of these oceans, river seas and ranges of mountain. That is why we use the Alps, not Alps, right? The Dead Sea in front of oceans, big oceans. We have uh, seven oceans, seas and ranges of mountains. We use the. And mount means mountain. And it is often used in the names of the mountains. Just for uh, example, Everest means Mount Everest, Mount St. Helens. So mount is actually mountain. The written short form of mount is just empty. So you can just write empty Everest, empty Fuji. Then the names of festivals, some special events and holidays, they are all proper nouns too. Like Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day, Father's Day, Halloween, New Year's Day, like Christmas, Memorial Day, Labor Day, Independence Day, Mother's Day, April Fool's Day, Thanksgiving Day, St. Patrick's Day. These are all proper nouns. So let us have an ex exercise now. Underline the proper nouns in the following. July is often the hottest month in summer. July. Proper noun. We have to find out the proper noun. One day, Alibaba saw the 40 thieves hiding in a cave. Sean and Ashley are going to the beach for a swim. Sean and Ashley. Beach is a noun. Thieves are noun, but they are not proper noun. Mr. Lee is reading a book. Mr. Lee is a proper noun. I am your fairy godmother, said the woman old to woman to Cinderella. Cinderella is proper noun. Uncle Mike is a lawyer. Mike. Uncle Mike, Mike is a proper noun. Next Tuesday is a public holiday. Tuesday is a proper noun. Many children enjoyed the movie Lion King. Lion King is a proper noun. Exercise 2. These are the word in the box. Which one are common nouns and which one are proper nouns? Put each word under its correct heading. Lisa. Proper noun. January. Proper noun. Doctor. Common noun. Bank. Common noun. Beach. Common noun. Month. Common noun. President. Hotel. Proper noun. White Sand Beach. Proper noun. Doctor Bank. Proper noun. Unified Bank. Proper noun. Hotel. Common noun. Girl. Common noun. Third exercise. Write C for common and P for proper on the bank before each noun. So the white house, this is a proper noun. The green dress, this is a common noun. Tall building, common noun. Empire State Building, it is a proper name. So we are pro proper noun. The yellow river, if the name of the river is actually yellow river, river, then we call it as a proper noun. Otherwise, if just the river is yellow, then we call it a uh, common noun. The muddy river, this is a common noun. The governor, this is a common noun. Uh, if the name of the governor is Governor Parker, then this is a proper noun. The Oregon Trial. The winding trial, these are proper nouns because these are proper names of trial. Then underline the nouns that should be capitalized. Circle the nouns that should not be capitalized. So the first one is Robert Lewis. This should be capital. Stevenson wrote Treasure Island. So this is a proper noun. So it should be Treasure Island. Then the capital of Illinois is Springfield. Capital should be small, small C. Illinois should be I should be capital. My friends, small, F should be small and I prefer glitter gums toothpaste, so make it capital T. Their family, no, this should be small f, visited Yellowstone National Park, N and P should be capital, P is already capital. Juan and Marianne, this is a name, so capital, attend Kennedy Middle School, make it capital. 
then we had a surprise party for aunt helen surprise party s should be small p should be small and aunt helen it's good spring and fall are my favorite season because it's the name of the um, you know season so it should be spring and fall no problem with that then the manager scolded m should be small scolded his lazy employees now what about singular small. nouns nouns can be singular as well as plural so when you are talking about one person animal place or thing name place animal thing one person name animal name or thing use a singular noun like a ship a woman a train an owl why and because o a o is a vowel a flower then these are singular nouns an airplane a bicycle a boy a bus a car a girl a key a letter a map a photograph a refrigerator a slide a swing and a van so uh, use a and an before singular nouns use an before the word which are beginning with vowels what are these vowels a e i o u like this is a vowel this is a vowel so a e i o the word we start with a e i o you have to add an an all these are actually vowels all these are vowels but some uh, words don't follow this rule this is very important for example use a not an before these word like a uniform a uniform a university an uniform is not correct because the word is beginning with u so you have to be very cautious when you are using u the word which is starting from u means a university and a university this is good no an no an and use a before word beginning with the other letters of the alphabet which are called consonants so there are two type of words and uh, alphabets which are uh, known to be vowels and consonants a e i u are vowels others are consonants like this starts from b other than a e i u this starts from w other than a e i u so you have to use a basket a bowl a car a house a rainbow a monster a pillow a watch and a zoo but some word again don't follow this rule how for example use an in this case you have u but you have to use a not an because since this is a vowel you need to see that this rule doesn't apply here for uniform and university and in this case there is a contradiction again that h h is what h is a consonant consonant but still use uh, you use an and higher and honor and our right because this has h e e is what e is a vowel h o o that is the second word is what if uh, the second word after h is a vowel then we call it as what a uh, not a but an and higher and honor and our and in this case because u is followed by what n which is a consonant that is why we use a university a uniform here and higher and honor and our plural nouns when you are talking about two or more people animal thing place you use plural nouns so most nouns are made plural by adding just adding s at the end how star it will become stars bat will become bats mug will become become mugs fan will become fans cap will become caps so bird birds groom grooms camel camels desk desk doll dolls egg eggs flower flowers fork forks game games lamb lambs nest nets pen to pens photo to photos shirt plural will be shirts and spoon will be spoons but some plural noun they end with es plural nouns end with es how bus this will become not bus s s but it will be buses glass will not be glass it will be glasses brush will be brushes brushes watch will be watches watches fox will be foxes and beach beaches branch branches box will be boxes bush bushes church churches dish will be dishes dress will be dresses sandwich will be sandwiches and which will be witches so in the last letter of a singular noun are c h c when the last letter of singular noun are ch sh s ss or x you add an es for the plural all these words have either ch in the last ss in the last x in the last or single s in the last so that is why this idea you should know some plural nouns end with ies how butterflies butterfly to butterflies canary to canaries and then lily to lilies candy to candies baby babies 
Chedi Chedis, Diary Diaries, Dictionary Dictionaries, Fairy Fairies, Family to Families, Flight to Flies, Lady to Ladies, Library to Libraries, Puppy will be Puppies, Story will be Stories, and Strawberry will be Strawberries. How? Noun like these are made plural just by changing Y to I and then adding ES. If you observe, all these words end with Y. So, whichever word end with Y, we are going to add a I for plural and then just add ES. And what if there is a vowel before the Y? Vowel before the Y. In that case, add S to the form of the plural. Well, this is key because as I suggested that if you have Y at the end, you just add I and then ES. But if this Y has a vowel in front like E or this, this turkey E, then you make it only S. You add S. Key keys, turkey turkeys, tray trays like chimney. Chimneys, cowboy, cowboys, day days, donkey donkeys, jersey jerseys, kidney kidneys, monkey monkeys, toy toys, trolley to trolleys and valley to valleys. But if a noun ends with F, you often change F to V and then add ES. So if you have noun which are ending with F, see F, what you are going to do, you add a V and then add ES like calf, calves, elf, elves, half, halves, leaf, leaves, loaf, loaves. Shelf shelves, thief thieves, wolf wolves. So V, ES, if you have F, throw F, add V, and then ES. Often nouns that end with F just need S to form the plural, like chef chefs, chief chiefs, cliff cliffs, handkerchief handkerchiefs, roof roofs, sheriff sheriffs. So for some words that end with F, the plural can be spelled in two different ways, like you have dwarf. You can also have dwarfs, just S, or you can have dwarfs. Hoof can be hoofs, and it can be hooves, V-S. So you can have both. With F, you can have S also and V-S also, like scarves, scarves, or scarves. So with some words that end with F-E, like knife, you change F to V, F to V, and then uh, you add S, like knife. Knives will be knives. Life will be lives. Wife will be wives. But you... I only add this S to giraffe to form the plural, not giraffes, only giraffes. And if a noun ends with O, what will you do? You will just add S to form the plural, like rhino will be rhinos, kangaroo will be kangaroos, hippo will be hippos, video videos, zoo will be zoos. But with some nouns that end in O, you add ES to form the plural, like O. Flamingos, this was only rhinos, but you'll add ES here. Why? With some noun that end with O, you can add either S and ES for these, but for flamingo, you make flamingos, tomato, you make tomatoes, potato, you make potatoes, hero, you make heroes. And what about these some O ending with O, and you can add either S or ES to form the plural like a mosquito, mosquitoes, mango, mangoes, zero, zeros, buffalo, buffaloes. And for mango, you can also have mangoes, mosquitoes, zeros, or buffaloes. Some plural nouns don't follow this S rule. So they don't end in S, E, S, I, E, S, or V, E, S. Instead, they, they, uh, the word forms, the form will be changed. So the word changes the form. How? Mouse, they will not be mouses or mouse. It will be mice. Goose will be just geese. Foot will not be foots or, you know, footways. It will be feet. So child will be not child, children, R-E-N, this is the plural. Man will be not man's, but it will be M-E-N. Ox will be oxen, tooth will be teeth, women will be women, M-E-N. So the plural of mice that you use with your computer is, you can use mice and mouses in, in, in case of computer. Some plural nouns are the same as the singular noun. How? Sheep, again, no change, sheep. Reindeer, reindeer, no reindeer, only reindeer. Sheep will be sheep. Fish will be fish, no fishes. Bison will be bison, deer will be deer. So you can use fishes as the plural of fish when you are talking about different kind of fish. All the fishes of the Pacific Oceans. When you are talking about different category of fishes. Some nouns are always plural. How? Binoculars. There is no binocular. Goggles. Because they come in pair. So goggles. Pliers. They have two teeth. So pliers. Jeans. Two. Uh, you can say two part. Spectacles. So pants. Scissors. Pajamas, shorts, trousers, candles, and sandals, uh, scissors, sneakers, slippers, stockings. 
all will have s in the end and another word for these spectacles is also glasses so you can make uh, these plural nouns singular just by using a pair of so how you are going to make it singular a pair of binoculars a pair of spectacles a pair of uh, goggles a pair of jeans a pair of shorts and a pair of pliers well let us see exercise for this look at the words below and do you know which ones are singular or which are plural put a check mark in uh, the correct box word is a singular pencils plural books plural fan singular hat singular children this is again because the plural form of children r a n is e n so this is plural kites is plural people are this peep there is no peoples there is no peoples people is all red all always plural crab is singular foxes are plural then do you add s e s to these singular nouns to make them plural write your answers on the lines so desk desks class classes com coms mug mugs bus e s buses basket baskets peach peaches bed beds taxi i e s taxis and the box boxes do you change y to i e s or just add s to make these singular noun plural write your answers key you can have s e s also cities i e s butterfly butterfly butterflies i e s monkeys just add s fly i e s flies toy toys only s babies i e s party i e s chimney chimneys i e s lady i e s fourth all these singular nouns end with o so either you add s or es as you write the plurals on the line so video videos will be s videos pianos mango mangoes kangaroo kangaroos now kangaroo we have already seen so it will be just s rhinos rhinos hippo hippo we have seen hippo will be only hippos zoos 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 zeros photos radios hippos okay then coming to our collective noun what is a collective noun collective nouns are words for groups of people animal or thing collective nouns we are talking about nouns which are collective so these are nouns for groups of people like a family an orchestra a crew so here are some more groups of people and i audience a band a chair a choir not chair choir a class a gang a group a team so audience will have number of people band will have number of uh, participant a choir will have number of participant a class will have different type of people a gang a group a item that is why we have a, a, a family while this starts with o that is why an orchestra so many collective nouns can be used with a singular and plural word like uh, my my, fa my family was happy to see me my family because family is what this is a collective noun but my family was happy to see me and this is also true my happy were happy to see me because family is a singular also and plural also because these are collective nouns now these form uh, these uh, following collective nouns always take a plural verb like cattle plural people plural the police always plural always you will use not was but were if you have to use it here are many uh, collective nouns that are used for groups of people animal or thing like a band of musicians a brood of chickens a school of fish a team of players a flight of steps also we have collective nouns a bunch of keys a class of uh, pupils a collection of books a deck of cards a fleet of ships a flock of ships sheep a gaggle of geese a gang of robbers a herd of cattle a litter of cubs all these are s c all these are s a pod of whales a pack of wolves a pride of lions a set of stamp a worm of bees a troop of actors so we have an exercise farmer john had several different kinds of animals on his farm write the correct collective noun for each group of his animal farmer john had a dash of geese a dash of geese a gaggle of geese gaggle of geese a dash of sheep a flock of sheep flock of sheep a dash of cattle a dash of cattle a dash of cattle so you can easily use a herd of cattle herd of cattle then a dash of horses a dash of horses if it is not there then you can easily use 
can use group of horses a group of horses and one day a dash but of best coyotes a pack of coyotes pack of coyotes so group of horses and coming to masculine and feminine yes. nouns masculine nouns are words for men and boys and male animals men boys masculine women girls feminine nouns and they are female animals also for female animals like bride bride these are this is a feminine feminine noun bride groom masculine rooster this is rooster that is, this is masculine and hen feminine lion lioness king queen so a boy girl these are the combinations men women prince princess steward stewardess waiter waitress here are some masculine and feminine nouns for people like actor actress brother sister emperor empress empress father mother gentleman lady grandfather grandmother grandson granddaughter headmaster headmistress men women master mistress nephew niece prince princess son daughter steward stewardess uncle aunt wizard witch so masculine nouns belong to the masculine gender feminine nouns belong to the feminine gender we have some masculine and feminine nouns for male and female animals like animal is chicken so male will be rooster female will be hen for cattle a male will be a bull and a female will be a cow deer the male will be buck and female will be a doe deer buck and doe donkey the male will be jack and female will be jenny jack jenny duck the male will be drake and female will be just duck so the male will be drake fox the male will be fox and the female will be vixen f v i x e n for goose the male will be gander and female will be geese a goose again this goose no geese goose horse will be stallion horse will be stallion and female will be mare mare lion will be lion and the female will be lioness sheep will be ram for male and eve for female tiger will be tiger male but for female it will be tigress so noun that end with ess and ress often belong to the feminine gender like actress lioness princess stewardess tigress and matress many nouns are used for both males and females how doctors may be male or female doctors dancers scientists hairdressers like accountants artists designers engineers lawyers parents managers pupils singers teachers they are all nouns used for both males and females we call these noun as common gender or nouns common gender and words for things that are neither male nor female these are called neuter nouns like bench leaves fire mirror waterfall like ball building brook cake computer car floor forest gymnasium playground rock sky shock and wind so let us have an exercise fill in the blanks with the correct masculine or feminine nouns master what will be this mistress or mistress mistress uncle aunt niece for nephew lion lioness tiger tigress yes emperor emperor empress husband wife son daughter father mother and ma'am sir ma'am sir fill in each blank with the suitable masculine and feminine noun the host and the dash welcome their guest host and the hostess at es steward and steward stewardess steward and ess my uncle and auntie aunt just making aunt my uncle and aunt the king and the queen queen had two children a boy and a girl g girl the prince was eight and the princess had ess for princess ladies and dash gentlemen welcome to the to our party this evening then look at the words in the box write each word under the correct heading children this is a children can be either uh, you know male or female so it will be common gender boy masculine mother feminine lamp ram what are these we'll talk about this just now sun 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 is either uh, masculine feminine sun is masculine sun s o n masculine queen is feminine doctor is common gender rooster is masculine which feminine father masculine file which file we are talking about so lamb ram file we'll talk dancer dancer is common gender elf we we'll just talk about elf 
King. King is masculine. Girl is feminine. Teacher. Teacher is a common gender. So, wizard. Wizard. And this is masculine. Fish. Now, fish is a common gender. Any, any fish can be uh, considered in common gender. And lamp, ramp and file keep it in the neuter. Because lamp, ram, we don't know ram what is. If it is uh, random access memory, it will come to neuter. So, these three will be neuter. So, this was about uh, nouns. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself.